But you can call me governor. Sweets for my sweet, sugar for my honey. Your first big kiss thrills me so. Sweets for my sweet, sugar for my honey. I'll never ever let you go. A very good morning, welcome to another episode with me yours truly. Today is the official opening day of the new bus interchange at North Shields. What have I told you about going into the bus shelter? I told you not to because the mayor is opening it up. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Don't trespass. Get off the mic, that's for Mrs. Redfern. Morning for uh, a great day, which is the opening of our new North Shields Transport Hub. So I'd like to welcome you all to, to North Shields for this. Um, the hub's a culmination of about three years' work. Whilst it's only been on site for 18 months, obviously there was a, a big run up in terms of securing the funding and working with our partners to refine the scheme. Uh, the Transport Hub, as some of you may know, is a key component of the North Shields Master Plan, uh, with other projects having been delivered or ongoing, and that includes things like the fantastic Northumberland Square, which, which we've got some events on today, which would be absolutely the greatest part of the North Tyneside Together event. Uh, we've also got the Embankment Walkway, which is on site at the minute, which is linking the, the fish key to the, um, to the town centre, as well as the development of our cultural quarter with our investment in the, in the exchange building. Um, North Shields is an absolutely fantastic town. This is a great sort of symbol of, a, of, of what's to come. Um, and, you know, hopefully this will provide an absolutely fantastic gateway to the town centre and will provide a fantastic facility for our public transport users as well as our bus operators. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Dame Norma Radford and the elected Mayor of North Tyne tonight to formally open the facility. Thank you. Let's give a great clap to the wonderful singing from Lindsay's Community Choir and the Unseen Choir. The people who can't sing, they were amazing. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you. But first of all, I just want to say thank you for all coming along today. Uh, this is something that we are really, really proud of here in North Shields and North Tyneside. It's going to be a very, very busy day in North Shields today. There's lots going on for you to enjoy. First of all, we're here to open this hub, this transport hub. Then in the square, there's the North Shields Together event, uh, celebrating our diverse communities. 
down Discover Street and along by Howard Street in, in the exchange. There's things going on there for you to enjoy. And because, because it's the last Saturday before the children go back to school, I bet the parents are so surprised. But I just want to say to you that, because the toddlers in this is where the rides are free. Right. So that's, a, that's special for those children who have, both, who have to go back to school next week. <laughs> but first of all, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone. And John has just told us that this is the beginning and making no excuse, an amazing place for you all to live. A place where the residents here can be really extremely proud of, and that's really important. And it's been going on for some time because these things don't happen overnight. And I think we would be extremely lucky to have some fantastic uh, officers to actually make some amazing bits and business places to acquire the money to transform the system and with the help of your transport money, the money is something that will happen. All I'm going to say to you is we never have, we never have to deal with that kind of money to make things like that happen. So a great, great thank you to our officers who did that for us and to let us for their support to make this happen. One of the other things I just would like to say to you, when I come shopping in Orchard, and I do it very occasionally, quite often actually now, and there's a group of people who have gathered in the centre and they ask me regularly, man and maid, where are the toilets for the town centre? Well, I was delighted when I came to this morning because I could tell them they're here. Here. <laughs> so, you know, at least we've achieved one thing to make some people happy, to be quite honest. But all I would say to you, to be quite honest, stick with us because not shoes is going to be a great place to live, a great place to work. And a great place to visit. So all I'm going to say, we're going to get up on the day's event. Thank everybody. And today I am joined by our mayor, our, our, our young mayor, Cam Cameron, who's the great deal of help working with our young people, and our uh, MP, Mary Clinton, who's in North Shields last and coach and all know that. So let's get on and have the fun and enjoy it. Let me get inside and let's see the fantastic place you've got here in this hall. So can you have a seat? I think it's time for a little uh, view in this uh, new bus interchange. It looks absolutely wonderful. Finally, um, being given permission by the lady herself to interview her for a couple of minutes. She's right beside me right now, the lovely current North Tyneside Mayor, Mrs. Norma Redfern. Hello. Hello there. So, tell us about today. Um, how long was it like in, like, you know, the planning, etc.? How long did it take for it to. Well, it really started four years ago. Yes. And then. The opportunity, the opportunity to bid for some money from Transform Universities. Which is very difficult to, like, to get as well. Well, if you think everybody in the country are applying for this money, so oh, I think our officers did a good job. In this case, just maybe in the plan, and possibly inside, inside or possibly just a that was three years ago. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. then you have the money, then you have to get all the contractors yeah, and all the work yeah, done. Yeah. Yes. For some time. They got everything but else. I think if people come here, kind of, yeah, yeah, not really then we don't mind that. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Because I know a lot of people were very nervous and a bit yeah, unsure yeah. because of like the demolition yeah. work, etc. Well, Get but yes, and also as well because with the building work like beginning to, like in its place and that, it's, it, it looks less depressing, doesn't it? Yes. Do you know my reference? Thank you for your time. Thank you. Oh, it's a great life on the buses. There's nothing like it, you'll agree. Just take a ride upon the buses Because 
just as plenty you can see. Hey, well, this is uh, quite an unusual uh, view on a bus that's on display for today only. So, this is uh, basically uh, the seaside of bus that should have been in operation, but obviously, due to COVID, they didn't bring it back. So the last time I seen this bus was in 2019. It hasn't got its uh, logo on the front, it's only got the original Stagecoach logo. But uh, yeah, I really loved uh, my name being at the front there.
in bloody Samba. Oh, I feel, I feel good for it, like, but don't get us wrong, God. Right, I'm gonna call it a day. I'll see you all soon. Till the next time when I get my breath back. Goodbye. <laughs>